Certainly. L -l Ladies and, and men, women and, and those of you who, who let conscience be your must realize that while you go about your, your every day absolutely carefree with, without a thought in the, for the future, the, the past will creep up on you and, and without a word of knock the chip off, off your... Because whenever I look back at, at the future, it, it makes me wonder what the past will be like in, in the... Uh, and if you wouldn't mind frightfully, I, I should like to, to transport you, to, to take you back to, to dear old, to show you the, the glamour of, of your hysterical past. Because whenever I look back on those days, it, it helps me to keep a stiff upper lip. And I think you should all keep a stiff upper lip, because I think a stiff upper lip played a splendid part in, in the making of, of this great... Because look at, at the great men who at one time or another have, have been down on, on their stiff upper, because, you know, I, I get on frightfully well with self-made men. In, in America, all the men are self-made, and all the women are on the make, sort of tit for and and, and vicer, and I, I want you to cast what little minds you have back to, to the first uh, rest uh, period, where, where, where everything was in a state of, and, and people were gasp, uh, gr grasping there, because Cromwell and, and his band of iron head around uh, backs uh, from the wars of the roses he came, laying the, the country waste, tooting, uh, looting and, and pillaging as he went from the village to, to village, collecting arms, legs, and anything he could lay his, his hands on, and as you can imagine, things had, had come to, to a pretty pass. And, of course, the, the prettier the thing, the bigger the... And what patriots they were in those days. They laid down their wi lives before their friends and thought nothing of it. You know, those, those undoubtedly were the days, the, the glorious days of, of the old Regency, uh, Re Regency when pomp depended on, on your circumstances and Nell Gwyn was the pride of old Drury. Uh, Drury and, and now, now let us pass lightly over the next three or four hundred and, and try, if you can, to, to picture yourself a night w with King Arthur on, on, on a round table. Of course, I once spent a night on, on a billiard, uh, not quite the same thing, perhaps, but probably equally as... as and of course, I don't want to let my personal the discomfort influence you, and, and the, the, this Arthur business is, is probably all on, on the up, and, and I mean, after all, he's buttered his billiard table, he's, he's got to lie in it, you know, and I can't help recalling it at this time the, the words of Nelson at, at, at Victoria, uh, chairing uh, Waterloo, when he said, up guards and, and don't shoot till you see the, the whites of there. And, and do you know that the thing that confuses me most in, in English history is whether Henry the Seventh had eight wives or whether Henry the Eighth had seven or whether Henry Hall was responsible for, for the whole the business. And as this is something I'll probably never find out, I think I'll rest on my moral, uh, laurels and leave all, all the Henrys to, to rest on, on theirs. I had decided on, on this side of the record to, 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 to discuss rabbits and, and rabbit habits, but since I made that decision, I found out a little more about r rabbit habits, and I, I feel that it's hardly a, on, on which to, but I have discovered a lot of, of very uninteresting data ab about the hare. Now, not the stuff that grows on the doings, the, the, the animal that had the business with the tortoise in Allsop's fable, uh, fables when he turned the t table, uh, fables on the, and, and won by, by a short hair. And of course, I, I remember there, there was some sort of moral attached to that, sort of the, the tortoise has taught us to, to study the, the ways and then means test. And of course, I, I love morals. I remember we had a nasty spot on the wall at home and we covered it up w with a moral. Or was it a mural? I, ca I can't remember quite which, but we covered it and it seemed, I seemed to be wandering a little from the subject, which was the hare and, and, and the dog that bit it. And I, I'm sure that every one of you listening in has, has gone to the dog, uh, been at one time or another to, to see them racing ar around Whitehall, chasing the, the elusive, and, and getting nowhere at a terrific. Now, now, if anyone were to ask me, I, I'd say that, that horse racing had, had it all over, a dog, a terrifically exciting. I, I, everybody having a bit each way, and, and the knick-knock, uh, tick, the to talkers talking, and then the smell of the, the turf under, under your, and, and then they're off to, to a good. The, the, the favorite leads the field, then the field leads the favorite, and th then the outsider comes in on, on the inside, and, and the insider goes out on, on the outs, and, and the jockey starts hug hugging a rail. I mean, it's amazing time to, to start that, that type of thing. However, he 
probably knows what, what he's after. And, and now, now they're, they're rounding the stretch, coming in, into the bend, they're, they're neck and neck, dancing cheek to cheek, and at any moment they're liable to, to break there. And, and the field is well bunched when pandemonium breaks loose from the bunch and the jockey urges him on as he flashes past the post at, at five to three, just, just in time to, to go to the, the nearest for, for a quick. And you, you know, it's amazing. It's amazing how many posts you can flash, uh, flash by. And, and I think the most interesting is, is the boat race the post, the, the, the one at Mortlake, a very interesting uh, sport, boat racing, very, very grueling. You know, you have to be absolutely in, in, in the pink. Of course, hunting too, you have to be in the pink, a different type of the pink uh, hunting. It, it's cut low in, in the back and up in the, and, and it has to, has to fit you like, and now boat racing pink is entirely, you, you can only acquire it after rigorous months of feeling a fiddler, as, as fit, as, as a fi and ready for, for a la uh, I mean ready for the, the boat race, of course, which, as, as you know, is, is rowed between Putney Bridge and, and Oxford and Cambridge, and, and 16 men. They're not necessarily good-looking. Man, man the oars and, and put all their, their eggs in, in one basket who sits up in, in, in the back of the, with the reins in his... And, and he, he's the, the only one who knows where they're going, you know, and he calls them everything under, under the bridges. And finally, Cambridge flashes past the post with eight lengths to spare. Very, very nice lengths they are, too. You know, they, they give one to, to each man, and he hangs it over his fireplace. And if any of you have any spare lengths, you know, know what you can do.